The search for a suspected robber and carjacker ends at a North Portland Fred Meyer tonight. They say the man was walking around naked inside the store with a gun at Interstate and Lombard. Coin Local 6 reporter Cor Harlan is right there on scene. Cor, you've been there for several hours and you just learned the man is now in custody. Standoff has just ended here, Kelly. I should say a standoff, really. This has been some tense moments for employees and shoppers here at the Fred Meyer here on, as you mentioned, North Lombard and Interstate Avenue. It started at about 9 o'clock when the fellow inside there got a 911 call to police that someone was upstairs in the women's clothing section waving a gun in the air. Well, we'll show you some video now that's taken within the last 15 minutes. This is 53 year old David Chilton, who is also suspected in a confrontation with the Portland State University security officer. Yesterday, and a bank robbery in northeast Portland as well. He was wheeled here after being uh, attacked by a, with a police canine unit. Uh, was taken into police custody a short time later. As I mentioned, it has been a very, very tense evening for some shoppers who were inside when all this unfolded. It was gets your heart going when you hear guns in the building, you know. Room there when the SWAT team officers came by with these uh, uh, heavily armed heading upstairs. A very uh, tense evening. 53 year old David Shilton, again, this man suspected of being here tonight, also suspected in the uh, standoff and uh, uh, gun situation with the Portland State University security officer yesterday and a bank robbery. A very dangerous man, police say, in police custody at this hour. Reporting for you live tonight in North Portland, Cor Harlan, Coin Local 6. Cor, thank you. A little more on that background now. Again, police have been looking for children since yesterday when they say he pulled that gun on a PSU security guard, then robbed the key bank in northeast Portland, and he's also accused of leaving behind a fake bomb and then carjacking a woman with her two young daughters inside the car. Chilton had just gotten out of prison a year ago. He was serving time for another bank robbery.